I want to welcome each of you to this small ceremony. <laughs> that was what they said to me earlier. This is to have a small, simple ceremony. So you're a part of a small, simple ceremony. Welcome. Thank you all for being here and being a part of this and for sharing in this very uh, special occasion. Thank you. May be seated. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together in the house of God in the name of Christ and in the presence of these witnesses and family to join together Janice Simpson and Benny Puckett in holy matrimony. Marriage is an honorable estate which was instituted of God, created in the beginning, and signifying to all the beautiful union which exists between Christ and his church. It was at a wedding ceremony, you remember, that Christ performed his first great miracle and thus began his life-giving ministry. It is then a sacred time in which we enter and in which we worship. I want to ask the family members, all the family, if you'll come on up and join us. Puckett and Simpson clans. <laughs> <clears throat> May not be anybody left in the congregation, but <laughs> come on up and gather around. I want to say a special word to family members. It is with many mixed emotions that you stand here. We all understand that, and we admire you, we appreciate you your willingness to give of some of yourself, to share your memories with each other, to become a part of another family. Uh, most of you have known each other for a number of years. And you still want Benny in the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly, hastily, or selfishly, but rather it is to be entered into reverently, discreetly, in the fear of God. Into this holy relationship these come to be joined. Janice and Benny stand in a sanctuary surrounded by the presence of God, the affection of friends, and the love of two amazing families. Therefore, it is symbolically fitting to ask, Will all of you give this man and this woman to be married? We will. <laughs> well, I love the emphasis on that one. Man. That good or bad, baby. <laughs> and so, in part, what a family shares with you what they want for you is your happiness and to be a part of a growing family. And with that, we give thanks. Bless you. Okay. 
Y'all have permission to sit down if you want to. You can stand up here. I require and charge you both as you stand in the very presence of God that having carefully considered the holy covenant you're about to make, you now declare your pledge of faith each to the other. Rest assured, and you know this so well, if you keep these faithfully, your marriage shall grow and your love shall deepen. Benny, will you take Janice to be your loving wife, to live together in the holy relationship of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and cherish her in sickness and in health, in poverty and in wealth? And will you forsake all else? to keep her only to yourself as long as you both shall live. Janice, will you take Benny to be your loving husband, to live together in the holy and beautiful relationship of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and cherish him in sickness and in health, poverty and in wealth? And will you forsake all else to keep him only to yourself as long as you both shall live? Benny, in the presence of God and these witnesses, will you pledge to Janice your life, your love, your future by repeating after me. I, Benny, I, Benny take, thee, Janice, take thee, Janice, to be my wedded wife, to, be my wedded wife, to, have, and to, hold, to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward for, better, for, worse, for better for worse, for richer for poor, for richer for poor in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health to, love and to, cherish, to love and to cherish till death us do part. Till death us do part. Janice, in the presence of God and these witnesses, will you likewise pledge to Benny your life, your love, and your future by repeating after me. I, Janice. I, Janice. Take thee, Benny. Take thee, Benny. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. Wedding rings. <laughs> Made me nervous where these rings were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They <I> did. <laughs> And these two have now pledged to each other their life, their love, and their future. The wedding rings have become an outward and visible symbol of that pledge. So too the wedding rings have become the outward and visible symbol of an inward and spiritual grace. These rings signify to all the uniting of these two in holy matrimony, the church of Jesus Christ. Benny, this ring represents your love for Janice. Place it upon her finger and let your life so surround her life and repeat after me. In token and in pledge, in token and in pledge, of our constant trust, of our constant trust, our abiding love, our abiding love, and the vow between us made, and the vow between us made, with this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Janice, this ring represents your love for Benny. Place it upon his finger and let your life so surround his life, and repeat after me. In token and in pledge, in token and in pledge of, our constant trust, of our constant trust, our abiding love, our abiding love and, the vow between us made, and the vow between us made, with this ring, with this ring I thee wed, thee wed, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the, Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. O eternal God, creator and preserver of us all, the giver of all spiritual grace and the author of everlasting life, send thy blessing upon Benny and Janice, whom we bless in thy name, that they may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant between them made, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together, and live according to thy laws. O God, look graciously upon them that they may love, honor, and cherish each other, and so live together in faithfulness and patience, in wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a haven of blessing and a place of peace. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. For as much as you have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and his people, and have declared your marriage by the giving and receiving of rings, I now pronounce that you are a husband and wife together, in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let no one put asunder. different feelings in 